Hello everyone, this is Lamid Zani of CodeLogic Hub and in this video we're gonna have a look at how to create computed properties. So what are computed properties in Ember.js? Um, let's actually try to identify a use case for computed properties. Let's have a look at our app.js. We have an index controller and it has two properties, first name and last name. Let's say we want to create that one other um, property that depends on first name and last name. What do I mean by that? Um, let's say you have an input field that you can change the first name and another input field wherein you can change the last name. So you want a behavior where in any time that you change the first name, the full name um, actually um, adjusts to changing the first name and when you change the last name as well, the full name changes. So before we get into too much explanation, let's go ahead and actually start programming this so we can understand what's going on. So inside our index template here, let's delete this because we're not going to use it here. So we have a p tag for the first name. So let's say um, first name. So we bind it to the first name. And another one. So let's have an input field just right next to it um, and we'll bind the value to first name. Now let's have another um, line here that says last name and we'll bind the value of the next input field to the last name. So now in our browser when we refresh this is what we get. So we have Angelina, so when we change that, um, the, the one on the left as well should change and same for Jolie, then we type stop in there. So let's go back and create one more line, which is P and that's the full name. So we'll create a property called full name, we'll soon create that in our controller, because it doesn't yet exist. So now this full name, um, we want to bind to um, first and last name. So we're going to create a property called full name and that's going to be a function and inside there we'll return um, this dot get first name I will say plus space string this dot get last name but this will not work as expected so let's rectify this return rt urn Okay, but this won't work as expected. Like as it, what I mean is that this full name will not get auto, op, automatically updated. And if we want it to update anytime first and last name change, we have to do something like dot property. And I know this is weird, but this is something that Ember does for us. So this is an extension of the function prototype. So Ember adds some property um, function to that, so we can do something like this. I don't think in pure JavaScript you can do that, but it works in Ember. So you pass in all your dependencies. So in this case, first name and last name. So what is this doing is that we're saying this function here depends on first and last name. So if any of these change, we will um, recalculate this function, this full name here. So this is cached on the first time you created. So full name, the value will be first name plus last name concatenated so anytime this is changed that cache is refreshed this function is will run again so back in our browser let's refresh as you can see Angelina Jolie as the third line so when I change these those Angelina Jolie will also change as well so let's just say Brad Pitt Jolie and as you can see below here the computer property is automatically adjusting to the values here likewise for here as well so that's it guys for this tutorial video just wanted to make it short so i hope that clears your understanding of what computed property is and in another video we'll have a look at what are observable um, what are observers in ember.js because when i was starting out those two differences between them and when to use which one trips me up a bit so i'll see you soon in another video thanks for watching and if this was helpful please rate and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye bye